There's nothing worse than having bed bugs in a vacation rental, so let's do everything we can to prevent it from happening. <laughs> In this episode, we're going to go through what to look for if you think you have bed bugs, how to prevent from getting bed bugs, and what to do if you do have an infestation. So I've had a little experience, but thankfully not a lot with bed bugs. So what are they? They're these little tiny, almost apple seed sized insects that will bite at you or your tenant when they're sleeping and they could even draw blood. You don't want that. And here's kind of a bad thing if you get them in a vacation rental you technically have to report that you have them so it's something you want to make sure that you're addressing all these things so you don't get them because no one wants a bad report what does an infestation look like so what happens is your guests get bit in the area and it becomes red and itchy that's the first sign that you have bed bugs so bed bugs will end up feeding off of dead skin on the mattress itself. Isn't that gross? You end up getting blood stains on your pillows and sheets from the bed bugs biting you. They leave a musty odor. So in our rentals, we have had bed bugs a handful of times. The key is, is if you get it, to address it as fast as possible. I had a tenant that didn't tell me for some time. By the time I went to the property when it was a problem that they couldn't control, literally the carpet everything was all out of the house them trying to fix the problem themselves we had to come in and actually remedy the situation ourselves by hiring a professional that's how out of control that got so you want to make sure to address the issue as fast as possible so ways to prevent bed bugs one thing that i do is i make sure like i, I don't give them a lot of room to breed Carpet is an area that they can multiply, so I try to do vinyl throughout our rentals. Your mattress and box spring is literally where they multiply. They end up um, having eggs, and anyways, that's, that's your breeding ground, essentially. So making sure that you have a clean mattress and replacing it every so often. What I do is I put a foam mattress topper on, and then every year I throw that out, and then I'll have the bed actually cleaned using metal bed frames instead of fabric bed frames is another area because they could get into anything that's fabric they're going to burrow themselves into and hatch more eggs you could use bed bug traps i personally haven't had success with it but i'm probably using it wrong you could try bed bug traps insect bombing once every quarter inside the rentals especially the vacation rentals to make sure that we're fumigating or I'll bring in a professional as well and have them spray the perimeter outside and inside. I also like to make sure our linens are separate from anything that the, the guest or tenant has. And we make sure that all those linens are washed regularly. Like they need to be washed regularly, like every visit. And when you're washing them, do them at the highest heat. It's the heat that actually could help kill them. Vacuum, if you do have carpet, you wanna make sure that you're vacuuming in between uh, visits as well. Have, if you have a house cleaner that's going in or you're going in to clean your vacation rentals, make sure that you're inspecting the beds during this time as well. Before I get to what to do if you have an infestation, share a story down below in the comment section about if you've ever had a bed bug situation or an infestation. What to do if you have an infestation? I would just simply light, light the place on fire. Okay, just kidding. Here's what you should do. Be responsible. Cancel any upcoming reservations that are in the like, very near future. You want to make sure that you remedy the situation. The quickest and best resolve is bring in the professionals and let them handle it. If the mattress is infested, a lot of people want to preserve that. If it's an older mattress, I just throw it out and start new. Professionals will come in and they'll wrap these in plastic and then they'll heat up any of your fabric uh, whether it's the mattress whether it's towels you name it they heat them up uh, to a temperature and let it sit for days until all your bed until all the bed bugs are dead then go through the rest of the house to make sure that all other uh, bed bugs have been eliminated if you are exposed personally to bed bugs do not you do not want to bring these home to your house so what I recommend people doing is, well, you have to strip down, you have to get rid of all your clothes that you could have potential bed bugs on. 
might be a little weird driving around town like that, but it's better than bringing them home. So we have a free gift for you, and that is a free Airbnb checklist. All the items that you'll need if you're starting a vacation rental that you're going to want to make sure that you have inside. Click on the link in the description below and get yours for free.